fist fight? You can't do that. I know it. I have convinced the sheriff it wasn't your fault, but I think it was. Maybe so. We are getting too close to this. You hit some bastard in a store, I can't let you see him anymore. You hear? No more fights. What's in the sack? Comic books, apples and candy bars, a little notebook and a pencil. Let me see. How can I trust you? Want to hit Gidry? Want to hit me? Yes, but I won't. Okay. Okay. Oh, the children sent pecans. He ate some. He likes the radio. I'll get him. Jefferson, hello. One hour. Uh, Mr. Paul? Yes? How long is it from now? Twelve days. What day it gonna be? Friday. Close to Easter? Just after. About springtime? Yeah. Jefferson, got you some apples and a couple of candy bars. Some funny books. Want an apple? No. Don't you get a big meal before you die? I think so. Uh, Mr. Paul? Whatever you want. Well, I want me a whole gallon of ice cream, not no apple. Vanilla. Eat it with a pot spoon. Never have more than a nickel cone, now I get a whole gallon. I can bring you ice cream any time, Jefferson. No, I'm going to wait. Whole gallon. Eat it with a pot spoon. Like your radio? It's all right. Can you get uh, Randy's record shop on it? Oh, Yeah. And I get a Del Rio, Texas, and even Nashville. How'd you get a Philco? I asked people to help me. Who? Miss Vivian. She gave me two dollars and the idea in the first place. Oh. Claiborne runs the Rainbow Club. He gave me one. Why? He knows music is important, and he wanted you to have it. That made three. We went up and down his bar two nights. Came up with three more. That was six. I did four in the sales tax. Thank them for me. All right. And thank you. You're welcome. And thank her. Do that yourself. Paul? All right, Miss Vivian, you can come right in. Jefferson. Thank you for letting me come see you. I've been wanting to for a long time. I've been thinking about you. Grant tells me all about it, how brave you are, how good and strong you are. Now I can see that for myself. I, um, I... He says you're doing fine. Learning a lot. He's learning a lot. So I wanted to come here myself to tell you how much I care about you and how much everybody in this town cares about you. Oh. We are all thinking about you, Jefferson. All the time. God bless you. Now I will let you men get on with your work. Jefferson. Uh, thank you for coming to see me. You are welcome. Goodbye, Jefferson. <laughs> 